the first work that I really remember falling in love with, um, all the way back, uh, probably comic books, uh, not really having a lot of culture around me. I grew up in rural upstate New York. Um, the, the easiest access points for visual information, for uh, visual culture, was comic books and cartoons. I really fell in love with the work of artists like John J. Booth and Kent Williams and Dave McKeon, who were, they were all working for uh, a company called DC Vertigo. The Vertigo line was meant for adults and they were hiring illustrators to work on the interiors and covers. And I remember reading uh, the comic, Mr. Punch, that came out probably 1994. And it was a painted, photo collaged comic about um, a boy coming of age in England and just trying, you know, it was it was him trying to understand the world of adults. And the, the way that the story unfolded visually was so mysterious and powerful, it felt like fine art to me. But I had never thought about something like that as, as having been meant for adults uh, and also meant for adults in a way that was beautiful. I think as an illustrator, I spend more time looking at things that are not illustration. So almost exclusively all my inspiration comes from things um, not related specifically to my field. So as far as movies go, uh, I, I would say I'm somewhat of a cinephile um, and spend an awful lot of time and always have uh, watching, uh, going all the way back through a classic American cinema um, into European cinema. At different points in time, different things influence me. Music, uh, I've constantly uh, listen to and, and, and collect music. My, um, my audio collection is, is probably about 500 gigabytes of audio files, and I probably listen to two to three albums that I've never heard a week and add those to my collection. When I think about the kind of work I make, um, it's almost like that can sometimes act as a soundtrack to it. I think one of the unique things that's happening right now is there's no end in sight for this, and it's a peculiar thing to have to continue on doing the things that you do without knowing where any of it's going or without having any sense of uh, what the future is going to bring. Uh, there's no ability to plan outside of this moment.